Sharon here and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm doing the design team project for Cara Brandon using her Autumn Splendour kit and I thought I would take the innards out of an old Reader's Digest book and do a couple of signatures in it. However, I don't know if you can see I managed to cut there. So I'm going to have to put um, some reinforcing tape down here and on the other side as well. I saved the two first sheets so these are going to go on the cover here because I love the colour of them. So I've saved them and then I've got this fabric here that's going on the outside that's autumn. Um, so that's next. First of all I need to reinforce this I think a whole chunk's taken out there. Hopefully, with everything that's going on here, I think first of all, I'm going to put down some tacky glue either side. Yeah, I think with everything that's going on here, um, with the material going on it as well, and I'm going to reinforce this spine beforehand um, with some material, I think I should be okay with it all. I'm hoping. We can only just hope, can't we? So I hope everybody's okay and uh, they're doing well today. I am um, still plodding along with the house. Right, put that down there. Cut off there. And so hopefully this will reinforce otherwise the whole thing is going to fall apart <laughs> but we shall see and I should have put this upside down it's getting to the stage I either need to refill it or that's it just put a bit on there and then I'm going to pull it over I'll get my ruler and go in there so it goes in to the joint there. And I will do the same this side. It sticks down on there. I might have to have used, um, I will, will be using uh, Fabri-Tac 3-in-1. Maybe I should have used three and one on that bit there. In fact, I think I will use three and one to turn it upside down to do down when I do on the outside bit. I will do this side as well. Okay, so I've done that, but it definitely needs because um, this is coming up as so I'm going to put um, material over that. But I will put another piece down here just to make sure, and I'm using the Fabri-Tac for this. Ooh, it's all very gooey. When I go back to the UK in a few weeks, I've got um, some Sugar Bell bottles being delivered to my son's house. He keeps getting packages. It does seem um, What have you ordered now? I said, what, well, I can't get over here. <laughs> so, um, and he should know that. He used to live here for a couple of years as well difficult to get much here um, and especially now since Brexit and I think I've mentioned before it's even more difficult but and especially coming from the States over here is just astronomical charges right so I'm going to put that down there and when this video comes out I will have um, which is next week um, we're expecting a storm on Sunday. Apparently Hurricane Danielle is hitting the northwest coast. I take it it's coming over from the States. Um, well, it would have happened by the time this video comes out. But we're on the northwest, on the uh, southwest, so hopefully it will dissipate as it goes over the land. But we've all had this big weather warning. And as I've got these massive palm, date palms, that you can't actually trim until the winter 
And I've got one that needs to come down because it's leaning towards the house. I think I've mentioned it before. And oh my goodness, I'm really worried about it. Um, the weather app on my phone is still saying beautiful sunshine. So we should just have to wait and see, won't we? Right, put that in there. So that is all like that. Hopefully, these sheets will go on there like that, and then I will put something here. I'm not sure what yet. I have got some um, fabric linen tape I might use. Now I've got to do this. When I do that, let's do that. Make sure that's coming up okay. It's right there. Yeah. This is a sort of book binding tape that I've managed to get um, from Craftelia over here. So I'm going to be putting this on here. So this all needs gluing down. So I will do it in stages. But first, you just need to cut out a bit at the corner. So I've done those four corners. So what I'm going to do is use the Fabri-Tac. Just make sure I'm getting this up the right way before I do anything. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll use the Fabri-Tac to go over it. So I'll start with this side. That is a lovely cover, but no, I need to. I might have reconsidered, but I do need to um, cover it because of that piece on the where I've cut the page. I'm hoping all this is going to. This is just basically to hold it down, and there's a mark there, I don't quite know what that is. So that's worked out quite well, and with that there, it's nice and smooth. It's going to have an exposed binding down there. So then the next bit I do is, oh no, I need to, no I can go straight over there because I'm not using the book, so yeah. I will do my sides here. So I'll do a bit just to pull it over first of all, like that. I do both ends first. Now I need to do whoop. now I need to do the top here and tuck these in so what I do normally is get a little bit of glue. I'll start down the bottom here. I put a bit of glue in there just to hold that down. These aren't very large, but it will hold. And then again along the bottom. Yeah. So I hope you're watching my shabby Sunday. This is more me at the moment, but I'm really trying to expand my horizons and try the shabby chic style. I think we need to all learn um, other ways so tuck sorry tuck that in like that. Yeah I all think we all need to learn and make sure you also put that down there and the same here there. Yes, we do all need to learn ooh, different ways of doing our journals, don't we? We all get styles but and what we're comfortable with, but I do think sometimes we need to go out of that comfort zone. There. So you get quite decent corners then. I don't know if you can see them. And this side. They will be covered, but it does just give it a bit of reinforcement. So there we go. Bits everywhere. Now I've got to put on the. Um, now this is the decision I've got to make. Do I put these on now and then run the material down, 
or do I put some material down there first and then put these on because these are quite I like the way these are quite sort of shabby or do I trim them up because the material will go over there and I just trim them up and make them all nice and neat decision decisions decisions so I found some material I got an old sheet again from moving I found a load of old stuff <laughs> so I've dyed a sheet recently which I thought could go down there um, and I've also got some oh, calico that's what they call it here that could go down there it does show that up then I thought maybe I do both and I put both down here like that so that really does give it a good reinforcement along that sp that spine bit there um, I'm not sure I did find this but it's not wide enough so I'm not be using that I think I'm gonna go with this the other thing is I've decided I'm sticking these straight on what I think I'm gonna do is put this one on and then make a decision whether I put the other over the top now actually I don't really want that that low down do I so I need to trim it there So, right, I keep saying that word again. I think I'm going to fluff this up a bit as well. Not doing very well with that. <laughs> if that goes there, like that, and that's there, it's just slightly hanging out either end. I quite like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. This doesn't seem to be because I've cut it rather than torn it but it is the back so yes it is the back so I think I'm going to glue that on there and then I will sort out the papers and make a decision of what I'm going to do before I actually sew it in so yep the house is coming along we've cleared the shed can call it that a building outhouse that we're trying to put all the tools in so that Mark can start on the roof of the porch so I think I might have mentioned we've got the windows coming on the 8th of November so we need all the porch done the roofing done and some of the um, okay I should have pulled that over so that it that's it that over there that's it um and some of the uh i don't know what you call it plasterboard stuff you have to put on the walls because we've got breeze blocks at the moment um he needs to do all that round where the windows and doors are going right okay so that's sort of hanging down there and a bit up the top there, I quite like that. Um, so I'm going to let all this really dry and then I've got, I've tea dyed all the papers. So I'm going to do two signatures and split these into two. Then I will add some coffee paper in each, uh, tea dyed paper in each signature and some book pages. Right, I've dis I've split the two lots. There's I think twelve sheets of paper, so I've got six of the kit papers. I've done three tea dye papers in each signature. I haven't put them all in order yet. I've got some of these that um, you can get on Amazon, um, which are like little vintage envelopes, which I think are gorgeous. And I'm going to put not quite sure how what I'm going to do but I think I'll just put a couple one in each um, signature somewhere 
that's them and then what I've got I put these aside and what I'll do is I'll start piling it up on top <laughs> um, then what I've got is an envelope tea stained envelope here and all I've done there so that I can sew down the middle there I fold it in half and then I cut up the middle like that then I just take a small piece out either side like that and then just take this piece out at the top it's a very small piece it enables you then to sew and then I just round the corner off like that and the corner off oops that wasn't a very good rounding was it like that so there's one of each of them to go in the signature I've got my baking sheets that I've uh, used to paint on etc um, there's one I might do it that way actually that one Way up. One each of them. I've got some paper bags. This came in a swap, I think, or Happy Mail. I can't really remember at the moment. Um, in fact, I'll do it that way. It's very difficult getting these over here, I must admit. Uh, so that can go in one. Then I've got one plain bag here that can go in another one I've then got some book pages both of these are from those um, 1906 books um, which I think I'll fold in half like this I'm not quite sure how I'll put them in then what I've got um, is some dictionary pages I've taken out the middle this one I put to reinforce the middle so I can sew it I've put some um, coffee dyed paper or oh, it might have been card because it's quite stiff I did this a while ago what I think I'll do with the other one sorry I'll just get my washi and I'm going to put some washi down the middle now what I've got here is some mushroom washi here so I think before I do that though I will glue Put a bit of glue in as well. That aside for the moment, and then that will just fold in. So it's just reinforced where I'm going to sew it in. There. Then remember these book pages that were joined together. There's two here, but they're all joined as one big sheet. So, I'm trying to figure out a way I'm thinking because that's where it's going to be sewn that will be open so that could be a pocket or, no, what I could do you know, because that will be cut or I cut down there yes, I think what I'm going to do I am going to do it with my ruler. Cut down there. Oh, yeah, that tears lovely. So they're like that. That's already joined. I'm thinking I could glue down the side. Well, they smell really old. <laughs> I could glue down the sides here and here and make that a pocket I think that's what I will do so that needs to be glued along here so I'll make it top pocket oh I could make that a top pocket that a side pocket so that would need this is the bottom this would need to be glued as well so if I do that along there 
that's now a top pocket and then I'll just glue this bit here just to make a side pocket a journal card like that so that's one done that one as well that was just one sheet of this old French book I've got. I think I've got another sheet. Well, I've got a few sheets, so I'll get another one to go in the other signature. Then I've got this algebra, yeah, <laughs> can't say it, algebra book, um, which I wonder if I can take it out the middle of a signature again, somewhere. Where is the middle here? Ah, I wonder. Is that the middle? It's very difficult to tell, isn't it? No, that's not the middle. No, that's not the middle. That's the middle. So I wonder if I can do what I've done with those other ones. And this one is old. Where is it from? When did I say it's from? 1867, this one. So. I can, yeah, that didn't go too well, did it? Mm. Again, the washing. I've got this wide washi here. Or I've got this very wide and very thick washi here, and it hides some of it, doesn't it? Um, I have got uh, this washi that covers that. Hmm. Let's give this a go. I'm going to have to do another one as well, aren't I, for the other? Um, signature right that's that one done as well I may have to tear some off the top <laughs> so turning that washi over may not have worked or off the bottom I've also got the Edwardian diary so I'm looking for September October, September, August, September. Oh, that's lovely. No. September, here we go. We'll have, oh, that's already torn out from another one, so that's handy. That can go in. And what else have I got? That's October, October. This is September. That is September. That's end of August. Let's have this one. Oh, didn't do very well there, did I? Right. Do you know what I'm going to do with this one? Let's get some of my tape. That across there. Like that. Now I've got a video coming out next Sunday that will show you how I make this tape. Another bit to go. Down there. Actually fold that bit over and that bit over there. And fold that in. Yeah, either way, even if I fold it in that way, you've still got there. I'll fold that in there, and I think I might have it that way round. Yeah, 
like that. I've got my Spanish magazine um, from the 1950s. There's nothing very autumn -y in here at all. <laughs> so I think I'll just go with a page that I can um, just trim down. I don't really want a um, page with colour on at the moment. I wonder, they've all got quite a bit of colour, haven't they? <laughs> right, let's go with that one. That's going to need trimming. And this one. So that's there. And then I've got some packaging. Now, I'll fold this in half. Where does it come to with these? Right, that's going to need trimming as well. So I just need to cut. Mind you, instead of trimming, what I could do is do some pockets, couldn't I? Let's do the shorter side. <laughs> That's what I'll do. I'll turn up some pockets. I'll, I'll trim two sheets of this off as well. Okay, so I've got the tea dyed in here and the pages. So now I need to put in these pages that we've put together um, envelopes where's the envelope there an envelope yeah maybe that go in the middle of the envelope and then on here I could put this in at the top There, and that in, yeah, like that. Um, have I put the two dyed papers in in this one? No, I haven't. <laughs> okay, um, let's put a tea dyed. Tea dyed in there and tea dyed because what I've done, I've put that in the middle there, right? And maybe this one, this one here, like that okay. So I've got that. Tea dyed aren't quite the same size. Um, doesn't matter. I'm not going for complete perfection. These, this. Um, I've then got maybe this. And what I've done here, I've trimmed some off the end but folded up. And then here with the packaging, again, I folded in either side. So that can go in there, and as you can see, that's a flip that side. Maybe with this here as well. Oh, there's the pocket one. Um, wasn't there some here? No, nope, I know, there. That could be the pocket one, couldn't it? There, how many sheets have I got? I may not get the bags in. One, two three, four, that's the side opening pocket, four, five, and then I don't count the envelope, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, ooh, 15, 16, but I need something there, and that is where maybe that comes in, there, okay, so that's one, um, I might have to do some trimming down the sides before I actually put it in the journal, I've got them left over, I'll see, so then I've got these, 
So that's those two. And this is the journal, the cover, which was the Reader's Digest book. And I did end up putting some tea dyed material down the middle as well. So these will go in here. Let's take these off temporarily. Now the question is, do I trim the pages down or do I keep them as they are so things overhang everywhere? I'm not too sure. Um, I'm going to go off and sew these signatures in. You to, I've got another video where I've sewn two signatures in. And to do that, you will make a template here. This is just under it's one and um, uh, one, two, three, four. It's not quite four, it's one, two, three eighths, one and three eighths. So I've got a, I think I might just guess it sort of um, there and there. So the signature's in, so there's a bit of leeway both, both sides like that. And again, yeah, there's a bit of a gap in between and a gap that side. I think I'm going to leave it there for this video. Um, I'll go off and get these sewn in as I said before and I'll come back and then we can start some decorating. Thanks very much for watching. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Thank you to everybody who's subscribed and any new subscribers I have and I'll see you next time. Bye!